water for the guests. Yes, Excellent job getting on the stool. We were worried about that. Good. All right. That's, that's too close. How are we doing with the shot? That look good? Won't even tell me. Good. Hey, thank you so much for coming. I understand you came a long ways to be here, and I appreciate it. I know you're up past your bedtime. Um, but I think, you know, we just had to talk a little bit because people got to know, you know, what, what made you want to do comedy? Well, in school, I always do jo jokes, and the kids love it, so I like to do that. Same here, same here. And also, uh, <laughs> you know, just watching Ray Romano, for me, really inspired me. Did you have one particular comedian that uh, got you off, you know, on, on that track? My family. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I understand your family's here tonight. That's and, uh, yeah, there's one right there. One right there. He's pretty funny, too. We were talking to him before the show. He's pretty funny, too. Well, that's excellent. Uh, so what grade are you in? Second grade. Second grade. You mentioned that. You mentioned that. I didn't know if those were old jokes. <laughs> I thought maybe, maybe, maybe it moved on. Good. I'm glad you're doing new material. Appreciate it. Keep it fresh. Um, well, that's great. So you, you're in town for a while? You're doing more gigs? or No? Good. Well, I'm, I'm glad you made time to come down tonight. Anybody else got a question for Tessa? Uh, what's your favorite color? Blue. <laughs> yeah. Blue, not red. Not red. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, oh, there it is again. encouraging yeah. announcement from Lars Ulrich. What is this? What is this? Hey, Jerry Haas fans. I want to take a moment to bring to your attention a very important this is, issue. This is not fun. I don't know what this is. An issue which the media the has airway. decided to bury beneath sensationalized reports about attempted terror plots and environmental disasters. It recently came to the attention of me and my band Metallica that a Mr. Paul Kagan of Marion, Ohio legally purchased an iTunes of our Grammy Award winning platinum album, Death Magnetic. And while Metallica condones and even appreciates Mr. Kagan's contribution to supporting working artists like ourselves, what he did next is hella unforgivable. This alleged metal militia member was spotted on, on surveillance. <laughs> We've seen him. Photocopying an actual death magnetic CD insert at the copy machine. <laughs> it's like, that's okay. <laughs> and thereby possessing an illegal reproduction of our copyrighted material. Whoa! Metallica pays for a whole team of major rager graphic designers and for Mr. Kagan to so blatantly and brazenly disrespect this fact and try to put them and Metallica out of business? It's appalling! Listen, Paul. I'm here today to let you know that our team of paid lawyers will seek and destroy with no remorse. We will fight fire with fire while your pirating days fade to black. For you, sir, possess the thing that should not be. Metallica are no mere disposable heroes, but rather four horsemen in pursuit of and justice for all. You have compromised your moral fabric, your own, your own funeral, buddy, and therefore lost the struggle within. You will soon find out just what kind of monster we are. For you have chosen to photocopy our CD insert. <laughs> wow! So for you, Paul, to live is to die. For whom does the bell toll? Paul Kagan. For you, my friend. <sighs> oh, yeah. Well, now, thank you, Jerry. Excuse me, Tessa. Just got to get that off my chest. It's just, I didn't know it was going to be such a big deal, but all I got to do is protect my artistic interests. <laughs> Nonsense. I'm sorry. Yes. Not cool. Right. Hey, stop cool everybody. That's it. Yeah. All right. How you doing? Right. Thanks for coming down. Hey, hey, is uh, there a truck around? Let's get him up here and uh, thank him one more time. Thank you guys all.
Hello, I am trapped. I cannot go anywhere. I got something on me here. This is